1998 Belgian Grand Prix was a race plagued by rain, crashes, two red flags, last podiums, and of course, a race winner. In this video, I will tell you a tale of how McLaren may or may not have planned to take out Ferrari. If you doubt it, just ask Michael Schumacher about the 1998 Belgian Grand Prix. Oh, that's right, you can't. Hi guys, welcome to the channel with Cedric. This was the 13th race of the season, Bikakinen had led the championship at that point with 77 points. Marco Schumacher was in 2nd place, just 7 points behind. Akinen's teammate David Kota was in 3rd position with 48 points, which meant the 3 drivers were the only drivers capable of winning the championship at that point. The race was completely raised in extreme wet weather condition. Lap 1 had heading cars collide due to David Kota who lost control of his McLaren. The red flag was waved, causing the delay of more than 1 hour. At the restart, 4 cars out of the 13 that collided were MIA due to severe damage. Funny thing at the restart, another McLaren lost control. This time it was challenge leader Mika Akinen's car. He was hit by Sauber, forcing both of them to retire. He would then took the lead but was overtaken by Michael Schumacher. By lap 24, Schumacher had built over 10 seconds of advantage over Demonio. Then he came out to lap quartered and everything changed. And McLaren struck again. Well, if you ask me, I would say it was all planned. Kota had actually slowed down after being instructed over the team radio to let Schumacher through, but he stayed on the main racing line. Schumacher was unsighted due to the spray behind Kota. He hit the back of the McLaren and caused terminal damage to his Ferrari, causing this famous Marco Schumacher run-up to happen. He got the lead again with Schumacher's brother right behind him, who was also his teammate. The team informed him to let Ralph through, but this was an era where drivers could actually disobey team orders and so he gave the team a dilemma. Either they both keep racing to the finish or they maintain positions so the team opted for the safer option and they maintained pace leading to his final F1 win and the first second and last podium of his career. The money went on to win the race for Jordan F1 team. His teammate Ralph Schumacher came in second and John Alessi finished the race in third place taking the second and last podium of his Formula 1 career. After it was revealed at the end of the race that the Jordan team had given a team order that prevented Raf Schumacher from overtaking Neil, Marco Schumacher went to the deck and actually went to head in Jordan's home to confront him and warn him that his brother was no longer going to race for the Jordan team.